Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to take a moment to try to explain a little bit about this charger. I got it from ValueHobby.com. I like it a lot. It's the cheapest option I found if you're wanting to get into LiPo batteries with a decent charger that will relay information to you. Uh, and the way I mean this is this isn't a high-end charger. It tells you everything in graphs, your entire charging cycle, and all that. It's not like that. But if you're wanting to step up from something like this, I highly recommend this little booger. Um, it was $21 before shipping. I paid a total of $25 for it after shipping. Got it in three days from them. And I've been charging with it like crazy since. Um, it'll do, take care of you on just about any battery configuration that you're going to use on a day-to-day scale. Uh, it's not a high output charger. It's only rated at 50 watts. So don't get excited. It's not uber high end in any way. But if you're wanting a cheap charger to get you started and messing with LiPos or just in general with RC, this is a good charger to look at. Um, they have it in a couple of different ways. I bought it without an exter- without the optional external power supply because I already have one. But they do offer it with a power supply as a combo deal and it's going to cost you 31 bucks. And it's just like a laptop power supply, essentially. But uh, <clears throat> for the features and such, this is hard to beat. Uh, it'll do up to six cell LiPos. It won't charge those very fast, but it will charge them. Two cells, it can charge it up to six amps. Um, it can do well, pretty much anything at up to six amps. That can do a LiPo. It can do a lithium ion, it can do life batteries, and it can do nickade, nickel metal hydride, and lead acid. The lead acid, I don't have a good reason why you would want to use this, because in reality you can buy a charger for 20 bucks from AutoZone or wherever for charging your lead acid batteries. It's going to be a lot more efficient and uh, much easier to deal with, but... Uh, for the most part, this little booger will do just about anything you want to do. Right now, it is currently discharging this lipo pack that I had that was fully charged. And uh, I decided I wasn't going to use it, so I'm discharging it. It can discharge it up to an amp uh, for total capacity. And I believe, I believe the balancing... Discharge is like 300 milliamps or 600, one of the two. But I recommend looking up the specs for yourself just so that I'm not giving you any misinformation on that. But uh, I found it exceptionally handy. It doesn't come with a whole lot of adapters. It comes with a cable, like yay, that comes with a Dean's connector, and it comes with a input connector that has alligator clips on it. And it also comes with a, another wire with a female Dean's connector with alligator clips so you can charge a lead acid battery. But uh, this is optional. This is an extension wire. All of the uh, balancing ports are built into the sides or side. And I recommend either getting your own balancing board or a selection of these cables just to make your life easier. Um, I'll tell you right now, I'm not doing this in a LiPo sack like I should, but if you have these in a LiPo sack, it makes it a lot easier to get everything situated because um, most LiPos have a relatively short cable. Uh, this also has a port for a temperature sensor, though I they don't include the temperature sensor, and I have no real experience with it at all. Um, and I'm actually not really sure where to buy one. I haven't no I didn't look too close on Value Hobby, but. I didn't run across it when I was searching around their stuff. Um, But for the most part, this can tell you a pretty good amount of information. Even though we're in the discharge cycle, this is pretty much the same as the charge cycle. Uh, It'll tell you the amp rate here. tells you the voltage here. How many milliamp hours has been pulled or put into a battery pack. The current time that has been spent. And... uh, 
this actually is an abbreviation down here. The SSTO tells you which mode you're in. Currently it's in storage mode, so that's taking it down to storage voltage. Um, if you hit that button there, it'll actually let you flip screens and you can look and see what the current voltage is on the cells. This one's not very balanced. Could be a lot worse, but uh, 4.03 and 4.11 volts. Um, and then it takes you back to here. If you go to here, it'll tell you what the target end voltage is, which is uh, 7.6 volts. And if you hit that button again, it'll take you to the next selection that you can change. Uh, capacity cutoff is 6,000 milliamp hours. That's more for charging, but you get the idea. The next one is the safety timer. Uh, it'll only stay in operation for 120 minutes. Safety temp cutoff, if you have the temperature uh, sensor, it'll cut it off at that temperature. And I know it's got a very short viewing time here, so yeah. Uh, current, it also has an input voltage information. It'll tell you what the input voltage is, which mine was at 11.72 volts. And normally this isn't a problem because, I mean, you can just look and read something, but uh, we're trying to show you on camera and talk about it. It doesn't stay on that particular screen very long. But uh, I give this one a thumbs up, especially for the low-budget individual. The menus are pretty easy to navigate. I'm actually going to stop this so I can run through the main menus. All right, pretty much we're on the main screen now. And they kind of give you a little cheat sheet right here for the main screen. Um, they look at it as the LiPo will be the first selection, the nickel metal hydride, nickade, lead acid. And then you get to save data, which lets you put input data, uh, basically make a profile for your battery pack uh, if you want a custom setup for it. <clears throat> which is pretty easy to navigate and to get through. Then you have oops, then you have load data, which is to actually load that up and let it play out. And I think this is good for up to 10 preset batteries, if I remember right. Um, and this will actually let you go to the main settings menu and let you change all kinds of things. This particular one here is actually the internal resistance check for lipos and lithium ions and pretty much any kind of lithium based battery and it'll actually let you do a little internal resistance check and at this exact moment these two cells are at 15 milliohms I think that's right. I'm not sure how to actually read that, but it's at 15, and they match. Which really kind of blows my mind at the moment, but whatever. I'm kind of surprised by that. Normally, uh, almost all my other batteries I've done a check on have always been at least one to two off. <clears throat> Granted, all my batteries are cheap, uh, cheap junk. But uh, when you go to the main selection for LiPo, you'll hit that hit start and that will take you onto the next screen and this will let you go between charge balance fast charge storage charge discharge and then back to charge and on this main screen here you can set just about anything to whatever you want you can change the amp amperage if you don't hit the wrong button you can actually scroll between them and drop and lower the Amp rate. And you can also change the uh, battery type, which it'll double check if you put the wrong one in or if it senses an error with the uh, setup. Hold it down. It'll go and check the battery. Make sure it's a two cell and that the voltage is within parameters. Hit it again to tell it to confirm that you're wanting to go, and in this case, it's going to start discharging it to try to uh, <clears throat> bring it down the storage charge. And if you're running through and want to change something, hit the start button, and you can manually 
change the amperage and such and preset it, which is pretty nice. Especially if you're on, especially if you screw up somewhere along the lines, you can drop the amperage pretty quickly if you realize you messed up and uh, help prevent some damage, or if you decide that you hit the wrong one and want to up the amperage. Well, I'm going to stop rambling and uh, go do something else. <laughs>